You do it. Okay, right. hold on. Get in the zone. And rolling. <laughs> Hey guys, we finally finished uh, up to number five in the Resident Evil films. This is our review for Retribution. This is Jeremy here in Pedram, and oh, man. We made it. We survived. Yeah, we five survived. Movies. Considering we watched the, these three back to back to back. It, this Retribution is not the worst one, but it's definitely the dumbest one. It's pretty dumb. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Like, literally, what? Technically, nothing happens in this movie. Yeah, it's... You know what? These the, the new trilogy of these films seem to be a whole lot of nothing. But this one at least holds your attention with very video game driven scenes i don't know it's very silly well no it is it's it's so stupid the only thing i would say is that if this were, if there was ever a translation of video games to movies like this was literally a video game there was levels there was fucking they spawned video... in creatures pretty much yeah, yeah there was video game drink music like ads like freaking yeah. rockstar the point of this film, actually, honestly, we don't know what the point is. Like, it, we don't know if it retcons stuff. We don't know if it. What happens is, all the people who they save in the boat from the from afterlife, get killed. It seems. So I don't understand why. They killed, kidnapped, cloned. There's clones that come back. There's characters that died that come back, but then they're real. But then they're not real. And then Alice is real. Is she real? I don't know. Is well, this film real? Well, that's the thing, right? We're kind of wondering, like, how many clones are there? Is there clones of clones? Is like Earth a clone? And who is the clone? Who's yeah. real anymore? Is Alice real or was she a clone? The movie implies it, but they don't even say anything. It actually really fucking hurts your brain when you actually try to th go through the thoughts of this film. And literally nothing happens. Like, for some reason, Wesker, who was trying to kill... She, he tried to eat Alice in the last movie, which probably... I need probably, your help. Yeah, he's, all of a sudden he's asking for her help now, which is what? How many fucking days was that? What, two or something? Adam, this feels like it took place, like, the day of... Yeah, or, like, the next day or some... Sh I don't know. This movie is just so badly constructed that... Not in terms of writing... Or, sorry, not in terms of store of uh, film-wise. It's actually technically sound again it's passable in yeah. story there's nothing there like are I, fun scenes i think there's like cg's better this time around. oh cg definitely is better i think there's only like 30 pages of script though i couldn't imagine yeah. there's not enough dialogue characters no had two lines or even one line or no lines in some cases no some of them yeah no there was nothing that happened they shoehorned in barry burton leon s kennedy ada wong uh, Claire again, which was like, Leon's not American anymore. He sounds no. like he's Scandinavian. He's, he's, a, or something. he's a discount Jamie Lannister, who's a Russian <laughs> actor, who clearly <laughs> his accent breaks through the entire movie. Yeah, Ada, I think uh, I feel like in the previous film they were doing a lot of references to Resident Evil Five. In this one, there was a lot of Resident mm -hmm. Evil Four, Four references. references Ada is... looked like Ada from the game, and she was actually not that bad of a character, just kind of flat. Oh, in terms yeah. of acting. And then they brought back people from the previous films. Michelle Rodriguez. Uh, uh, Laser Man, who died. L Laser yeah. Man. And then... Uh, oh, fuck. Carlos. Hey, hey babe. Carlos. Yeah, hey, babe. So. <laughs> yeah, for some reason they brought these people back because I swear, I think... Well, they're clones. Uh, well, I think Anderson was like, Hey, you remember when our movies were good? Let's Ish. try that again. Yeah, so I think that he was literally pulling at straws with this. That he had nothing left. And there go why we're now onto the final chapter with the next film. But this one, it's it's watchable. It's it's not as I was confused. Um, yeah, it's really I was as confusing. confused watching this than I was you uh, watching Terminator Genesis. The thing <laughs> is, you really can watch this movie and not really actually pay attention to anything. It, yeah. you can kind of like it's it's background noise and it's passable as that. But it's not boring like the last one. No, the last one was yeah. boring. This one stuff is happening. Stuff that doesn't matter, but at least stuff scenes. is happening. Also, it does have it doesn't have a scene as funny as as uh, Wesker's fight with Cliff, Chris and Claire. It does have Barry Burton's death, yeah. which we actually recorded our reaction for that. Go do it, Barry! <laughs> no, I have oh, this. Lord. It's really powerful, especially against living things. They're all gone. Oh. Um, oh what? She doesn't even know who she is. Or does she? No, he knows. Who, no, she's part of the strike oh, team. Oh yeah. yeah. There's a story. Don't worry. You gotta look deep enough. The cigars out. Yeah, the cigar looks good. Oh. 
Oh god, is this ripping off fucking Inception music? Oh man, because he has to stop. No! Oh, the gun's up, the gun's up in the air. He's dead! No, he's dead. What could he do? No, no, he's been shot like seven times. The gun's still falling! Oh, how high did the gun. That was probably the highlight of the film. And if you pay attention, there's a scene where the Soviet Russian gunslinging zombies, one of them has a chainsaw, and he comes in with the biggest smirk? What zombie smirks? Yeah, when Pedram and I went and saw this film in theaters, we were trolling it the whole time. <laughs> yeah. And the thing was, it was so bad, no one told us not to stop. Yeah, like we were la We weren't really like pointing out. We were like whispering to each other, but we were laughing. Like someone the movie. would die, but it wouldn't be a funny death. But we would laugh, and no one would tell us to shut up because then they would start laughing <laughs> once these other characters started to get hurt. And when die. the black guy gets punched in the chest and his heart when he like dies, we were started laughing. We were the only two people in the theater, and then the same thing happens to Mila Jonovich. Uh, she gets punched by evil Michelle Rodriguez, and then everyone in the theater started laughing because they understood Th this that was stupid. This was the movie to laugh at. So. It, it's honestly, it's one of. The, it just showed how much of down the shitter this movie was going, and really, the part that would have been interesting is the last fucking five minutes when they've arrived in freaking President Wesker. President and, Wesker, and he's like sitting in the chair like this. Oh, hello, Claire. <laughs> Pay attention. You watch this film. Watch any scene with. This actor, Sean Roberts, doing Wesker, he always has the. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some deadlifts. Yo, <laughs> bro. Yo, bro. Let's do some lifts. Honestly, uh, there, I, I feel like. I should have brought more weights. Given how ridiculous these films have been going, they're setting up the best start to the next film. Wesker's the president. They're in the United States. They're at the White House. They gotta defend it. They're gonna ruin it. They're yeah, gonna they ruin are. it gonna... this month. Come the end of January. Well, apparently, it's already out so, in Japan. Yeah, right? it is. Yeah, they like did they, an they, early they... release. So, so. We, well, maybe we'll maybe we'll maybe we'll be able to find a version. So no, I want to watch it in HD. I want to see what the the yeah, audience. I, I want to laugh at the movie. But I, I want people to tell me to shut up because of how funny it is. It's gonna be great. We'll so. see. Well, in the end, what, in overall, what would you say of this movie? How did how did you feel? It's better than Afterlife, but it's like we said, and I think what did we say that in Afterlife is that Paul Wes Anderson prequel his own movies. In the yeah. sense of how what George Lucas did to his own movies. He's like, hey, you know what George Lucas did with his prequels? Everything that went wrong with those? Let's do that for our movies. It's better than Afterlife. It's less green screen. Great, less green screen. I mean, there's screen. a lot of CG, but it's just there's, some there's more, a balance to yeah, it. Yeah, and there's some entertain like entertaining gunfights. Like technically, they're shooting at zo Russian zombies. Yep. They didn't really touch on that at all, but that would have been an interesting aspect. It's but, random, and it wasn't even in the games. They just did it, you know, something. Yeah, that was fun. actually totally out of the blue. Yeah. It's completely blank noise, but at least it's entertaining blank noise. It's not like Afterlife, which was just a boring train wreck. This is a train wreck that you don't even have to watch. You can kind of hear it and listen and sort of absently see it, but you'll still enjoy it. It's not good. And but it's it's worth... If you're a fan of Resident Evil, it's worth checking out the references and kind of oh, seeing yeah, how Oh, yeah, there's a lot of references. Together. Really badly put in references. Yeah, but, but it's just kind of like, hey, check that out. Mm, oh, hey, look, fun. we put this in. <laughs> but it's I, not the worst. It's not the worst, but it's definitely... Wa watchable? It's watchable. But watchable it's, yeah. asterisks. In the end, I'm going to give Resident Evil Retribution a 2 out of 7. That's fair. I agree. You get that? So, yeah. But technically... That means that unless Final Chapter is the Oscar godsend that we all hope it is, <laughs> it's chance. Resident Evil Extinction is the best one. In his opinion. In my opinion. What is your opinion? I don't know yet. It might just be the final chapter. God, if it is, I am going to be amazed. Nick. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed these reviews. We actually had a really good time doing this. Uh, it's take it's definitely been an interesting sort with the first two taking their time, and then this one with conditions haven't happened. Uh, we got these done real quick. Mm -hmm. 
And then, like we said, we uh, we said that in the last review, we may review the animated ones just for shits and giggles. Yeah. But I'm actually happy that I finally finished the series reviews that I said I would. I tried to do this with Fast and Furious, the X-Men movies. Both of them I kind of fell short. So I'm really happy we actually were able to do that with this one. Mm -hmm. And it's been really fun re-watching these movies, even though I've been fucking bleeding from my stitches, I think, for like the last three hours. Especially considering we thought the older ones were going to be better than we thought they were going to be, and they were just as bad. Yeah, that's worse. probably one of the oddest contrasts is that the old ones have not aged well, except for maybe Extinction. Yeah, and then the, the, the new ones, the new fine, ones are yeah. the new ones are just terrible. Like this, in terms of the amount of slow motion that he uses, the amount of obvious three D that he uses, the amount of lots of that in this one. Though. The amount of the, the, sorry, not the amount of, the lack of actual narrative yeah. in the last two movies is absolutely astounding. And the fact that we have Ian Glenn coming back in the new one, even though he got fucking chopped into, into a million pieces. I don't know if he's a clone or if he's... Uh, uh, there's so many goddamn clones in this movie. You would think that... This is Attack of the well, Clones. Well here's, yeah, well, here's the thing. If, T, if the Umbrella Company had mastered cloning... Don't you think that would have been way more profitable than making a biohazardous virus? Maybe. Ask Paul W.S. Anderson. Really? Think about that. You have cloning. You have illegal marketing for organs. You have trades. You have slavery. That's not you, fun, though. That's not, that's not zombies. You have free soldiers. Well, they clearly, have, an unlimited they clearly un have free soldiers. Well, they yeah, are going in and just getting slaughtered. Like, oh, hey, you know these clones? We just, like, push them out when we want to do our test scenarios because we can just, like, shit that out of our ass. You know, because... What the fuck? That just broke this whole movie for me. Just the idea of thinking that they have this cloning service that just is so easy to produce, and yet they would rather go after biohazardous bio weapons. You have fucking clones you can start doing human protesting without any issue you could sell this to both bad people and good people you create an army to fight the zombies but they're not i don't know they could have created all these clones and they could have just made them deadpan and they wouldn't be infected by the zombies so then they could have destroyed the teeth holy fuck this is killing me right now the, the moment you add logic into this it it's no longer resonating holy fuck Fuck, I can't <laughs> fucking believe that. Oh my god. Holy shit. GG. Any anyway, guys, thank you for watching our reviews. And what you said, final chapter is coming soon. And we're probably going to get a fucking aneurysm from that. Anyway, guys, I'll see you later.